and we'll get going. So this surface is a really cool um, vintage drawer front surface. It's a real heavy duty wood. I mean, it really is just like a drawer front, only it doesn't have all the holes that you need to fill in when you get one from the Restore Home or Habitat for Humanity or whatever store um, that you can get old cabinets from. So it's perfect. Now, this is technically a one-time use, but I had it something else and was tired of it, so I just lightly sanded it, gave it a fresh coat of paint, and it's ready to go again. And so I'm going to do, this is for my gallery wall, um, so I am going to do a project using my silk screen transfers. Now, let's see. I'm going to try and do this upside down so that you can see. I have to decide which goes first. This one goes first. It's been a while since I've done this transfer. This is a pretty old one. Um, it, it's not available anymore, so my apologies for that. But you can still see the amazing things that you can do with chalk. So this is the first layer. And I've got a new jar of my black creamy, dreamy paste. And we are going to scrape across here. This is just a real creamy chalk paste, meaning it, it's not paint, it's paste. And it goes on um, real creamy and soft, and then it dries hard. And so it is amazing. And it's water soluble. So if you're doing it on a non porous surface, like a chalkboard, glass, metal, things like that, you can actually wash it off. Now, I did do a little trick here with this particular board. I told you it was um, already done before. And so what I did is I. Um, coated it with some matte Mod Podge just as an experiment to see if when it comes to be Christmas time if it will wash off. We'll see. Stay tuned for that. Now because I am going to layer on top of this I need to make sure the first layer is dry so that it doesn't peel, pull it back up. Hi, Miss Donna, how are you? Thanks for being on. Doing this old transfer here on our drawer front. I have a pesky fly in my studio. What? How dare he? Okay, oops. So now we're going to line this up. It's super easy to see right where to put it. And this gives you a beautiful shadow. You can make your own shadow on your own. Ooh, I went over a little bit. Stink. Oh well, it'll be okay. This is for me, so I don't mind if there's a little mistake. But if you can see here, I wasn't accounting for how far the fresh would go over. So it's actually down on the um, curved surface which I wouldn't have wanted, but I didn't think and plan ahead enough. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm not gonna chalk over that edge, um, unless once I pull this up, I see it just looks goofy. All right, so scraping the chalk paste thin, getting all that excess off. And now we'll pull up and look at that. Is that not super cool? Now to clean this, I'll just take it when I'm done and rinse it under the water, but I also could spray it and uh, have it here at the table if I needed to use it again, which I don't. So I'll just wash it later. I love how that looks. And I don't mind that that came off the edge at all. 
I think that looks gorgeous. And you can see a little bit of the white in between. So it's like got a double shadow. Super, super awesome. Okay, next I'm going to use the word pumpkins. And we are just going to place that right there. And I think I'm going to make this a fairly, um, just kind of what I guess I would say classic look. I'm, I'm making it like it would be a sign. So I'm not going to do any fancy ombre or anything like that. Although I love me some ombre, but I think this will look really good. Just a nice, clean, classic look. So again, I scrape my chalk paste on. And if you notice, I'm always pulling from a straight edge because I don't want to, um, oh, fly, leave me alone. I don't want to um, pull up uh, or stretch the transfer in any way. Love it. Let me just dry that a little. We might be overlapping with the next part, we'll see. This is gonna look so good on my gallery wall. Now, I doubt you can see it, but I had a little um, in between the P and the K, there's a little bit where it spilled, and I'll try and pull that up later with, um, a brush and some paint, a paintbrush and some water rather, and we'll see if, because I put the Mod Podge down, it will work. So if you're just joining um, and are familiar with chalk, this is a one-time use board, but I um, had used it before and was, you know, done with the design, and so I lightly sanded it off, and then I repainted this with chalk um, paint. You could use the chalk paste though too. And then I'm experimenting by um, covering it with covering it with um, some matte Mod Podge just to see if later that will pull up um, and I wouldn't need to do that process again. I'm cleaning off my bigger squeegee here because I want to use it with the orange. You may hear piano in the background. My sweet Megan is practicing her piano. The stories I could tell about that. So Megan is our special needs daughter. She's 35, functions around a seven-year-old level. We have lived here for two years, two and a half years. Ooh, this looks so good. And um, she used to take piano lessons. Now she is in just the first book, always. She just keeps changing new first books, because that's her skill level. Ever since we've moved, have not gotten a new piano teacher, she still does the same songs every day from her last lesson. It is just so precious. I always tell her, you don't have to. Oh, I want to. But due to COVID and moving and everything, I just haven't been able to find a new one. It's so sweet. All right, now here is what is so, so cool. Oops, I've got two more parts to do. I almost forgot. We've got stems that match up this spot perfectly. There we go. And one for this side. 
Glad I didn't forget those. I'm going to use a green. This is our pesto color. Put that down. Got a little on my desk there. A little crumb. I know, isn't it crazy? It doesn't feel like it's been that long in some ways, and yet in others, feels like we've been here a long time. All right, get these dry too. Now those are just really pretty pitiful looking pumpkins, right? Just very plain, no definition. Nothing exciting at all. Wait till you see what this does. Oh my goodness. I love this transfer. Again, my apologies <laughs> because it's no longer available. Oh, I think I might have brought the wrong color. I was thinking this. Let me grab a different orange instead. Um, so the bottom is a um, is the orange peel. And I think for this second layer, I'm going to go over it with papaya. We'll see what that looks like. And then I'm going to put brown on the stem area. And we'll see what we get. Like I said, it's been a while, so I don't really quite remember what this looks like finished other than amazing because of the detail. Okay, now we will take this brown. You can cut your squeegees apart. This is a mini squeegee cut in half, and so it's got a nice small area to it. Okay, and here we go, oh my. Now, I'm gonna have to give you a close-up view of this when I'm done because you can't even see the detail. But let me tell you, it's amazing. But we've got a couple more things that I want to do here. Right here, we're gonna be Say, pick your own. Uh, we're going to go up right there. And um, choices, choices. We're just going to stick with, like I said, kind of a classic sign look. So we'll just do this in black. So this says, pick your own. I'm going to have to dry this because I may be going over it just a little bit. one for whatever reason. Line that up. Probably because I was going to put it underneath on a project.
and that little spot there. I'm trying not to go in the in between part. Just a little smear there that I'll clean up. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see here. I'm going to hold it to two cameras. I've got two cameras going on here. So, first, let me hold it up here so you can see the image of those pumpkins. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this is going off the edge here. I wonder if I should put a little something here. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's good. I think it's good. What do you think? I love it. Thanks so much, guys, for hanging out with me.